So this window over here is a casement window and I really like this window for a lot of different purposes. So what you can do is you can get this window again on the other side, have a really nice big pane of glass. So if you've got a nice garden that you like to look at, um, it's a really nice application. So again, if I was to have this as a slider, I'd be cutting this off with a transom. Uh, but I don't need to because I'm going to get a lot of airflow. I'm going to have beautiful glass. Now these two are compression levers. So when I pull those levers down, it pulls my window in super tight. So these compression levers are locked at the moment. I won't be able to open my window unless I take off my compression levers. Now this window is actually 2400 high and I'm short. So that's why I've got a bit of a reach. Most houses are only at the 2100. So it's going to be a lot lower. And then I simply wind it out so it lets a lot of air in. If I want to get a little bit of air in or the breeze is coming from this direction, then I can scoop it this way and the air will flow in. If I have another one on the other side open in the other direction, then I've actually got the flexibility of whether the air comes in this side or that side. You also get cross flow ventilation, the air circulates. And another really good benefit of this window is that I can stop it here and then I can lock it in position. So if I want to go out for, um, for the day or go out to the shops, then I know that this is going to be secure and people won't be able to get their hands in. The screen fits in neatly just in front of it here um, so that I don't have to pull the screen up and down. So then I shut the window. Sometimes you need to lift this handle up a little bit because of the position it gets in. Pull down my custom compression seals and then my window is super tight with no air infiltration.